Hello, dear aquarist. Welcome again to one of my cases of fish diseases. And today you selected the one about the cardinal tetra, pyrethroidum axorodi. And I will show you my findings in my PowerPoint that I will share with you what I found when I was using a microscope. Because the fish did show bacterial infection and tubercles in the organs. I explain fish diseases with prevention, with diagnosis and with treatments in different languages in my books. The link is available here below in this subscription titles. Look at the cardinal tetra. Well, in general, they look healthy, but some losses were reported. You can see in the back, a few are separated from the group. A few are getting darker. Here is a darker one. Here is a darker one. You can see it here. Well, which is not normal. In particular, you have losses. You have to check. There is something wrong. And the first thing we noticed when we took uh, skin scraping, we saw the scales badly damaged. This is one of them. And that means there is an internal problem that some minerals or vitamins, nutrients cannot get to the scales. So there is kind of impact on the good development of the scales. And the gills had some gill rot. You can see this part is completely gone, caused by bacterial infection. Here some parts are damaged. Here is a part damaged. Here are some pale parts of the gills. So the gills are not in a healthy condition. And inside in the organs, we found tubercles here in the spleen. And we found more tubercles here next to the intestine and here also next to the intestine and mesenteria, all, all tubercles, a lot of them. That means the organs are badly affected and causing general health problems. And some fish might be seriously harmed and damaged due to the tubercles taking away healthy organs. And some fish have, might have a little, but might develop it over the time, the coming weeks or months. So the origin is the breeder who is breeding this kind of problem or food that is supplied that is infested with mycobacterium, which I explained in some of my videos about prevention and control of fish diseases, that it can be caused by feeding the fish with mosquito larvae. An antibiotic like oxytetracycline or erythromycin can sometimes be a help, but still for controlling bacterial infections, it's not always antibiotics that can help, but if you want, please ask advice from your fish doctor or veterinarian. At the same time, you can help the fish which are still looking good, in good shape, behaving well and eating well with our Dr. Baslier biofish food, FUCO, which is a functional food that helps in the control of bacterial infections. Information about fish diseases, well, you can get it in my books in different languages. Or you can get your training on fish doctoring, fish health management at my Patreon. So thank you for watching this case of a diseased cardinal tetra. And I have many more videos on diagnosis and treatment of fish diseases. Subscribe so you learn more. Thank you for watching.